hello everyone welcome back to my channel if today is your first time here please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and drop your comment and to my returning subscribers you are all welcome back please don't forget to like and also share with family and friends and i will also ask that you drop your comments in today's video we are going to learn how to make a stew i will be starting by adding my washed chicken into the pot next i'll be adding rosemary leaf this dry rosemary and i'll be adding my curry salt i have oregano here i'll be adding some then i have my blended pepper and onion at this point i'll be adding my seasoning onion then i have my ginger and garlic crushed together or mix everything together then cover it and allow to boil for five minutes you can see without adding water the juice from the chicken is already everywhere in the pot you don't need to add water first now i'll be adding some water to enable it to cook very well then cover it to cook for about five more minutes it's so soft i've tested it and everything is okay it's so the next thing is to start frying yeah i'll be adding the chicken into my hot oil and allow it to fry until golden brown yeah i have to flip it so that the both sides will fried very well and now the chicken is ready i'll be transferring it into an empty plate then i will need to reduce the oil because it's too much and the next thing is to pour our tomato i have my blended tomato here scotch bonnet pepper that i say and bawa allow it to fry till you see that there is no much water again floating in it the next thing now is to add tomato paste but it's not a must if you don't have tomato paste you can go ahead to keep frying your minced pepper and tomatoes you keep frying it until you discover that oil is floating on the surface now i will be adding the meat stock then i tested and discovered that i need to add some little more maggi and salt make sure you pour your meat stock first then taste to see what you need to add before adding salt and maggi then cover it to cook again for about two minutes now it is boiling and everything is set the next thing is to add our fried meat and allow to cook for you to have a beautiful look still like this, you need to get a good tomato, bell pepper, crushed bonnet pepper, and a very ripe fresh paprika. Cover and allow to cook for 3 minutes. Yes, this is exactly what I want and the stew is set. The aroma is everywhere in the kitchen and today I'm going to take this stew with my boiled rice. I have my boiled rice garnished with some vegetables. Yeah. Please give this a try. You will love it. This is fast and easy to make tomato stew. Please, if you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share with friends. To my returning subscriber, you are all welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends and drop your comments. Bye-bye.